Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you really easily how to customize your domain, but instead of putting it on the root of your domain name, we're going to put it on a subdomain. So, for example, most people will put their membership site on something like yourdomain.com. However, there's some cases when you might want to put your membership site on a subdomain, something like members dot your domain dot com. In this case, you might have a WordPress blog already installed on your domain. Maybe you already have a custom sales page already installed on the root of your domain, and you want to put your value add on membership site on a subdomain. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now, for this example, I have logged into my cPanel account for my hosting company, and you want to find your advanced DNS zone editor. So scroll down and find where it says Advanced DNS Zone Editor. Sometimes it's called Zone File Editor. If you need help with this, you can reach out to your hosting company support and they'll be able to walk you through this. It's very, very simple. So click on that. This is gonna bring you up to a page where it's gonna ask you to select your, your domain name. So select the correct domain name that you want to uh, mask for your value add-on membership account. Okay, so I've selected the correct domain name and once again, usually you would modify an existing record. However, for this example, we'll be creating a new record, which will uh, be in fact, it will look like a subdomain with on, uh, within our site. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add a brand new record and the name is going to determine what the subdomain name is going to be. So for this example, I'm gonna put the word members here because that is what I want my subdomain name to be. I want it to be members.mydomainname.com. Now for the time to live, um, you can ask your hosting provider what to put here, or you can follow through with some of the other uh, TTLs that already exist in your account. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy the existing uh, TTL times that are already in my account. Next, I wanna make sure that I'm choosing the right record type. This is, a, this is going to be a A record. Um, once again, if you're following through with the instructions um, within our help desk, you will see that it does say to create an A host record. And then you need to put in the IP address. So to find the IP address, follow the instructions. We have the IP address right here. We can copy and paste that. Copy that. Paste that IP address in here. And click Add Record. So once you do this, it is going to create a subdomain almost. It's going to create an A record that's going to be called members.yourdomainname.com. It's going to mask that properly. And the only and last step that you need to complete now is you need to log into your value add on membership account. You need to go to the URL section where you customize the URL and you, you need to put in that URL that you created. So if it's members. put in members.yourdomainname.com. If you chose to name it something else, uh, put that into uh, the box. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that right now. Okay, so I'm logged into the site owner control panel for the value add-on membership site that I want to modify. And all I have to do to finish this process is go to the URLs tab and put in my custom domain URL. So for this example, it would be something like members dot then the rest of my domain name. So something like yourdomainname.com. Of course, your domain name would, rep would be replaced by the actual domain URL that you're choosing. Once you put that in there, press save and you're completely done. That's how easy it is.